respect and dear family members, my pranams to you. Very recently, other than JNU issue, one of the major issues discussed in North Indian newspapers is about the great world seminar or conference or show going on in the banks of Yamuna River. Generally authorities or organizations or judicial system or law abiding bureaucratic systems used to fine the people to give penalty or punishment after committing a crime or after committing a mistake. But here the Environmental Protection Authority of Delhi has fined 5 crore rupees for Sri Sri Devi Shankar's Guruji's program in the banks of Yamuna River. Thinking that when the three day conference, three day seminar, three day luxurious show, after it is conducted on 12th, 13th and 14th, I think so, the Yamuna River will get polluted. Not that it already got polluted, it will get polluted. So fine is imposed before getting the pollution, before the river water getting polluted. Generally fine and penalty and punishment used to be given after committing the mistake. And 5 crore rupees penalty has been imposed and permission for polluting the river is already given for conducting the extravagance or conference has been given. So permission for committing the mistake and imposing the fine far before that, there the logical, rational approach is lacking. You are permitted to do the mistake. Only thing is that the fine, the penalty will be imposed beforehand. And Sri Sri Devi Shankarji Guruji has clearly mentioned that I will never give the money even if I have to go to the jail. That's excellent. That's the manliness. Because Yamuna water is not portable water even today. The quantity of the dirt and the worms present in that is maxima. Further polluting is impossible. It has reached a hundred percent level. And Guruji has very clearly said that an ecological park will be established there with their expense. And the Yamuna River will be cleaned after that and before that. But not listening to those messages, the penalty of 5 crore rupees imposed should never be entertained by Guruji and Guruji's people. I am not supporting any law breaking, law breaking message, law breaking activity, never supporting law breaking action or vision. But one thing is very sure, I am not supporting the extravagance of any religious seminar, any spiritual mission oriented conferences. But naturally a group of intellectuals, leftist, atheist and opposition parties, they think that if such an incident took place in Delhi on the banks of Yamuna River and such a series of programs happen to take place throughout India, it will be working against the so called JNU type of intellectuals, atheist communist, leftist, it will be a death blow for them and definitely it will be indirectly or directly a support for the present rulers of India. And particularly because Rishri was given Patma Bhushan by the present government. So the merit and the benefit will be going for the present rulers of India others will be getting tarnished. So the fine, penalty, punishment is given before doing the mistake 
and permission for doing the crime and the mistake is given. And uh, Guruji has very seriously and sincerely responded to that and particularly in the week that people, a group of intellectuals and leftists are supporting anti-national pro-terrorist activities. It's a simple logic that eco-friendly, pro-national, pro-cultural program, if it is banned, if it is stopped, the repercussion and the reaction will be very serious. It should be serious. The Hindus should get the freedom to live in this world, not the minorities and not the vote bank producing Muslims and Christians alone. The leftist and the and the less matured Vice President of Congress. They are working for the people, only looking for the vote bank, working for the people, in quotation. But India is important. Whether you do positive for India, even by mistake, that should be appreciated. The viewpoint of anti-nationalism, and also pro terrorist and pro separatists will subside and they will become zero from the present level of hero. Naturally for some time they will become hero when the media is supporting them. Once the media throw the decayed flesh of the dead body and go in search of other dead bodies like vultures, naturally these heroes cannot survive for long but Indian culture and the proponents of the Indian culture will survive. Pranams to you, you should be with them. Thanks a lot.